Season. He's just full of pheromones. He can smell something going on. Now, what Sassy was doing right there is showing her affection. Now she's showing she's hungry. These guys cannot purr, so how they show their affection? against this fence here because she wants some food or against Mal when he's being a good lion. So that's their way of showing affection. Do you want to come up for me? Oh now while I've got her up, Jeez. have a look at her tummy and legs. Is there anything that um, stands out? Oh. Spots. She's got a bunch of spots on her underside. Now when these guys are cubs, they're covered head to toe in spots. What that does is while they're small cubs, they want to, want to try to do is uh, stay hidden and uh, those spots help them in the tall grass uh, make them blend in a little bit easier as they grow older and, and she starts to darken on her top side they start to fade what's your teeth beautiful good girl <laughs> now this is just a snack for these guys they get fed um, only three times a week because they're um, called something a gorge feeder so these guys don't get fed every single day. So how that works in the wild when we try to replicate it is these guys will only feed when they're most hungry. So um, in the wild, all the girls in the pride will go out and hunt until the whole pride is full. And then what they're going to do is relax for the next couple of days. They can sleep, just like your house cat, up to 20 hours in a day. And if their um, stomach is full and it's nice and hot, all they want to do is digest that food and sit down and relax. So these guys got fed um, yesterday, so it's nice and hot out here. All they wanted to do is sleep, especially now. It's a good boy, you relax. Now. Let's get away from that food, hey? Come on up. Now she's. Oh, that's a bit too high for me. There you are. <laughs> Good girl. Now I do get these guys to jump up. There's a few reasons for it. Uh, first of all, it gets their muscles moving. These guys don't have to work for their food, so if she wanted to, all she'd like to do is just sit, there, sit down and, and relax all day. So getting them up just gets a couple of those other muscles working. Good girl. I also want to have a nice, good look at her underside. There's not very many chances I get when these guys are lazing around to have a look at their whole body. So having a look when she's up, have, checking her underside out, making sure it's all clear, is a great way to... Mm. Good girl. You gotta watch those teeth, love. Good girl. Hey. <laughs> you got it. Good girl. Let's see if I can get Grumpy Boy up. He's relaxed a little bit. Oh. Now for Mal, it's a lot harder for him to get up. He, not only is he about 50 kilos heavier than um, Sassy here, that mane can weigh up to 30 kilos, so he's very top heavy. So uh, for him, he doesn't, hey, it's on here, it's on here. For him, all he wants to do is get his food down on the ground. He doesn't want to have to get up, but he's doing good and jumping up for me. So I want to get that to Good fella. Well done, buddy. Good boy. He's smiling. Oh, that's a good boy. I know, you're big and tough. He doesn't like to eat out of my hands. Sometimes he likes to smile. Watch out, Fraff. Over here. Come on. You can get it. Good boy. Wow. You got it? Oh, I almost fell over. Yeah. What's your teeth? What's your teeth? 
see. Grab it. Good boy. One more. Go off. Good boy. Next door, thank you both. You ended up loving me again. <laughs>